Welcome back, and as promised, the Ford 8.8 .8 is on the bench next. Now, what you doing there, shop kitty? You guarding the new parts? Yeah. Well, welcome to the channel, everyone. Please subscribe, tune in, all that good stuff. Uh, what we have here is an aluminum Ford 8.8. .8. I think it's out of an exploder. Not really sure. It's a boneyard deal. Uh, I just emptied it out and cleaned it up a little bit. It was pretty, pretty, pretty messy, as most of them are. Well, anyway, it's got some miles on it. There's some wear. I've, t you know, taken some initial uh, measurements and things like really that. Really doesn't matter. Um, everything is getting extracted out of this rear end and discarded into the um, scrap metal or recycle bin, as we call it. And um, and what we have in the box here that Chop Kitty is so uh, having fun with. Chop Kitty is all our fun and new Ford performance parts. We have a New gear set here, this is a 373. In the rear right now is a 355. I highlighted that so you could see it in the video a little easier. Um, this is going in a Honda S2000, it's retrofit. This rear is used in a lot of different applications. Anyway, kitty. I guess you don't want to be a star today. It's all good. All right, well, we're going to get this thing all cleaned up, cleaned out, start the process of the build. Stay tuned. Well, you are the prop. Are you a prop? Are you a prop, kitty? Let me check. Yeah, he's a prop, kitty. Yeah, he's a prop, kitty. Yeah, we got it all apart. Old bearings. Seals come out in two pieces sometimes, just like these days. They're in there to stay. Pinion seal, axle bearings. All this is getting replaced. There's your distance piece. Shim, that's what I was mainly after, so we got a starting point. Now let's get it all cleaned up and start reassembling. Hey, shop kid. Oh. Well, anyway, here we are. Everything's cleaned up, ready for assembly. Our new 373. Highlighted that so you could see it. Ford Motor Company, all Ford Motorsport parts. Many of our new pieces here. Other pieces are still in the boxes. I've already pressed in the new bearing cups. I put a, a nice finish on this. I think it looks really good. I uh, wasn't going to do this because this is like a job that has to go. Uh, actually, it's getting shipped tomorrow, so I'm going to be all night in the shop. Uh, getting this done uh the boob got me starbucks yay so keep me going anyway uh it's going into caribbean uh some little island down there so it should be fun get to go mm, probably up to 100 miles before he has to stop before it goes in the ocean but that's all right get there quick though wait, wait, what do you got here we got we got the random fab guy uh -huh. you know he's been doing it for 100 years apparently uh -huh, uh -huh. and we got a little asian kid all right, that's been doing it for like maybe five. Uh, you're not really little. You're like, like okay, okay. Listen, you're tall, large. Yeah, I, are, I'm, are you grande? No, or no, I'm, I'm thick. <laughs> that's what. Wait, wait, wait. What is what? I, I'm plus. No, I'm plus size. No, I'm fucking no, plus size, man. No, no, they, no. Yeah, they, look at that came yeah, out. Yeah, it looks good. It's lovely. Okay, okay like, and you yeah, got one over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one came out. No, it's, it pieces anodized, and anodized is crap. So yeah, I understand that if it's yeah. dirty, Ooh, it doesn't work. It goes no, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> nice. Yeah, all right, that's cool. Let's uh, carry on with the build. Late night at the at the shop. Working on the setup right now, and this is as far as I got the carrier in. It just stopped right there. And so what I want to do is I'm going to extract this and lessen the shim sizes. These are the factory shims that came with this case. Um, there is differences between, you know, a, a differential to the next differential. There are factory tolerances, and this one happens to be a little bit on the, the larger size. So 
you know, when you guys are thinking about doing one of these jobs on your own, which is cool to do, be sure that you have plenty of shims on hand for the carrier and, and as well as the uh, pinion, because you may have to change things up to get where you need to be. And in case of point, that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna have to pull this thing and take a few thousands out on these shims and then see where we get from there. All right, I lightened that load on that carrier and I was able to get the carrier in place and bolt it up. Got a terrific pattern and my backlash is a little bit more on the wider side than I would like for this rear end. I'm right at about 11 thousandths. I'm gonna take that down to about eight. And uh, so I wanna take out a little bit more um, shim out of this thing and that'll get us where we need to be. And I'll go ahead and set up a pinion after that. When you're dealing with all factory things, things usually fall into place really nicely. And, and in this case it did, we have a factory Ford LSD. We have a factory Ford gear set. Yeah, bearings and all that, so getting a really nice setup. All right, let me go ahead and uh, fine tune this thing and get the pinion set. Oh, uh, look at that. Somebody snuck in. Oh, good baby. I just got done pressing in the new pinion seal as you can see here. And um, next we're gonna go ahead and put in the pinion. I gotta put the distance right, piece. We in. have it pressed into place. And the way I do this, I have a pinion stand up underneath here. And you can see the rear end is free spinning. And I go ahead and I press all these components into place. It makes it really nice, much easier than trying to do it on the bench by hand. And, uh, and then from here, I'll go ahead and I'll put the, uh, the new nut on that has the factory Loctite and we'll go ahead and start torquing everything down into place. All right, we're gonna show you the preload on our pinion bearings. And we are right where Ford wants us to be, right in that happy spot. Just got done pressing in this uh, axle seal. This is not an easy job to do without a press. These seals are very tight fitting. Um, hand driving them is really not an option. It's very difficult to do. Uh, we have our axle bearings in place here. Um, and uh, these seals are quite expensive. One's one of the most expensive seals on the market for a differential is these Ford seals. The other one would be for like BMW. They're, they're quite expensive as well. So you want to be very careful when you install these things because, you know, you make a boo-boo, it sucks. But anyway, I got to flip this over, support this side and uh, off of that seal so we don't cause any damage to it while we press the other one in. All right, we're all set up. As you can see, the axle bearing is already in place. And, um, and these seals are self-sealing, so there's no need to put anything inside here or any kind of lubricant that would defeat the purpose of that seal. So we're gonna go ahead and press that baby in. Go up in there. And you wanna get something that is the same size as the outside of that seal so that you don't deform the seal. And we'll use that bar to spread the load and give it a good push. That press makes it look so easy, but believe me, there is a lot of pressure on that seal. Let's see how we did. All right, perfect. All right, let's get it back to the bench and finish off putting that carrier in. All right, got the carrier back in. We have greased up the bolts with our ARP assembly grease. This assures us a proper torque load and good lubrication to prevent any galling uh, in this aluminum case. All right, we're all finished setting up the backlash here. Everything's torqued into position. And this is our final backlash setting. 
We're at around eight and a half at this point, and it's about eight to nine thousandths consistent around a year. So that's really, really good, especially for this Ford rear end. Anywhere, uh, you know, you can have a two thousandths variance, but we got like a mm, half a thousandths to a thousandths variance. So we're really good after balancing and everything. I'm pretty pleased with that. Of course, you know, we have a great pattern on this thing as well. So we're all set here. Everything's torqued into place. Got that ARP grease in there, and uh, that really helps with getting that torque load set. All we have to do now is put the cover on it, get it boxed up, and send it away. Uh, I also shaved this rear end. It had two knobs up here. They're casting knobs. This one's lower, but these two, they stand kind of proud and tall on the rear. It just helps with clearance getting in, into the S2000, so you can get that much closer and tighter up into the car with it by taking those off. Just a little extra thing I do to help with the uh, you know fabrication of putting these rear ends into your guy's car. Here we go. Oh man, it's late. It is, let's see, it's after 11 and I think I'm done. I was gonna stay until it was done and I did. I finished it, came out really nice. Quality goes in before the name goes on. Steal that from Ford, so since we're doing a Ford rear end, why not? Looks really nice. I'll wipe it down because I got paw prints all over it from my hands, you know, handling that carrier in and out. Getting that shimming uh, correct is such a son of a gun, you know, just getting that, that sweet spot to get that perfect uh, backlash on these rears. It's always constantly in and out, in and out. Tear up my hand on these gears. They're so sharp, you know. It's a, I don't like doing them, but I do them. And uh, I guess it's just an occupational hazard. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm gonna get the cover on it in the morning and get it boxed up, get the label made and, and off to the Caribbean it goes. Stay tuned and wait for the next video. Thanks for watching.